Hi, I'm Mark Franco, and this is Word of the Week with Snap Language. Bellicose. Do you sometimes get in the mood to fight and argue over something, and you just can't stop yourself? Well, at that moment, you're being bellicose. Bellicose. Teenagers can be bellicose by nature. They feel passionate about things and are ready to snap back at people who disagree with them. Bellicose teenagers are ready to fight anyone who gets in the way of what they want to do. It's a natural developmental stage, which can be kind of fun. But people of any age can have the impulse to be combative or bellicose. They have a bellicose attitude when they defend their beliefs. When they respond to criticism, they don't just say, "Well, I disagree with you." No, no, no. They push back hard with bellicose remarks. What are you thinking? You have no right to say that. This is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. They're ready to fight. They become combative, defensive. They become defensive and respond to anything you say with acrid remarks. They're either triggered by something you said, or they just have a bellicose nature. Sometimes being bellicose is not really in your nature, but a bad situation may trigger a bellicose response. You know when you bite someone's head off and it surprises even you. You cop a bellicose attitude and all bets are off, and so are other people's heads. Bellum means war or struggle in Latin. Bellicose, warlike, combative. So a bellicose person is ready to engage in combat, sometimes figuratively, sometimes literally. Countries can be bellicose. They're ready to go to war to solve disputes or disagreements with other countries. When people or countries do get into combat, they're belligerent. Bellicose, belligerent. There's the root word bellum again, giving us some awesome words. Belligerent countries are those that are at war with each other. Peace treaties are agreements between belligerent powers to cease hostility. Figuratively, you can say a toddler who's screaming, kicking, and crying is being belligerent. I'm sure you've seen a belligerent child at a grocery store before, throwing a fit at a very embarrassed parent. Sometimes children don't want to turn off the TV or go to bed, so they throw a fit. They start kicking things and crying. They become belligerent. People say children go through a belligerent phase when they're around two years old. They call it the terrible twos. Maybe they should call it the belligerent twos. There's another fun phase in human development. Children at that age start rebelling against their parents. To rebel. In their terrible twos, children are learning to push their boundaries. They rebel against rules. They want things their way. Bellum, war, combat, rebellion. Are you a rebel? If so, you rebel against authority. That's what rebels do. Rebels rebel. You see the word root bellum there, right? A rebellious child is sometimes belligerent. Bellicose and belligerent are very close in meaning. Bellicose countries or people are warlike; they are ready to fight. Belligerent countries or people are already fighting; they are engaged in combat, like a belligerent couple. Sometimes these words are used interchangeably, though. Rebellious people are those who fight against an existing situation, like. Rebellious teenagers who rebel against what their parents or society expects them to do. Sometimes adults rebel too against what they perceive as social injustice or an unfavorable political situation. Bellum, war. The root word bellum also gives us the expression antebellum. Literally, it means before the war. In American history, antebellum refers to the period before the American Civil War, particularly referring to the South. An antebellum house then is a house from that period. The Southern economy of the antebellum era was directly tied to cotton production by slaves.
bellicose, having a combative disposition, bellicosity, that's the quality of being bellicose, belligerent, related to those at war or fighting, belligerence, rebellious, defiant, refusing to obey, to rebel, a rebel. You can support SNAP language so we can continue making videos. If you can't or won't, that's fine too. Hey, just trying to make a living here. No need to be bellicose about it. The YouTube algorithm pays more attention to longer videos, but I'll rebel against the algorithm and uh, keep this one short. Thank you.